On to some sad news, a heart-wrenching tragedy forever altering the essence of Mother's Day for one grieving mother whose daughter was struck from behind at a traffic light in Atlanta, Georgia. Despite enduring multiple surgeries and clinging to hope, the Bahamian woman succumbed to her injuries tonight. The mother is appealing for assistance to cover the overwhelming medical expenses as she prepares to lay her daughter to rest. I got a call saying Ken Troll was in a serious car accident. And then I say, what? And then I break down. Broken legs, broken wrists, broken pelvis, thigh and neck injuries, damaged lungs, spleen, liver, abdomen, intestines, and brain trauma, all stemming from a rare end collision by an intoxicated driver while they were at a stoplight. She was just broken. Delores Jones says on April 22nd, her daughter Kentrell Rule, along with her best friend, were en route to a mountain cabin when the tragic accident unfolded. But something unusual happened at the morning of the accident. She received a peculiar call from Kentrell. I answered the phone and she said to me, Say, mommy, have I told you lately that I love you? And she just started saying, and that's how I say, yeah, baby, you always tell mommy how much you love her. You know, that, 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 that really broke me because sometimes when you hear things like that, you, you would feel like it was a message in there somewhere. Was that usual? No. It would indeed be the final conversation Della Reese would have with her daughter. Following the accident, Cantrell was airlifted to the trauma ICU hospital in Tennessee, where she underwent multiple surgeries. She was hooked up and tubes everywhere, everywhere. Machines go in and it was, it was scary. It was scary to see my baby like that. Unfortunately, she passed away on May 9th, just three days before Mother's Day. Tragically, her friend, pictured in the tan shirt, also lost her life in the accident. Yeah. Yeah. My baby just gone, just like that. The family started a GoFundMe page initially aimed at covering medical bills post-surgeries, but it is now transitioned to seeking medical support for both incurred medical debt and memorial arrangements for Kentrell. She was only 30 years old. She really loved life. The me, all her life was just beginning to start. She had all her life ahead of her. 